is the 24th of May. Uh, so my birthday was actually yesterday. I am officially 25 years old. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the items that I got from friends and from family. Um, I'm just going to show you the bookish items. So um, a book that my sister got that she didn't realize that I already had. But, you know, it's a thought that counts is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is apparently the collector's edition and it includes an excerpt from All You're Perfect. And yeah, um, she didn't realize that I already had it. So uh, luckily, here's the receipt. So luckily, um, I'm just going to exchange it. I've already talked to her and she's okay with it. She doesn't mind because she understands that I already have it. Um, and I wasn't that big of a fan of Ends With Us, nor am I a big fan of Colleen Hoover in general. So I'm going to exchange it. I'm thinking I might exchange it with Happy Place by Emily Henry because I love Emily Henry. So yes, I'm thinking I might exchange it for that. But at the end of the day, it's the thought that counts. Like I said, she didn't realize and she genuinely thought that this was a really pretty cover and that I would love it. So that was her thought process behind it. It's still really, really sweet. And if I liked Colleen Hoover and it ends with us, I would probably keep it. But because I'm not a big fan, I'm not planning on it but it's not the end of the world it's totally fine especially with the amount of books I have it's bound to happen and my mum got me one that I'm so excited for and that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros now if you are new to the book world this has been blowing up everywhere it's been blowing up on TikTok Instagram booktube it has been blowing up everyone that has read this has said how much they love it so I'm very excited. It's got dragons in it. And if you don't know, I love dragons. Um, they are one of my favorite mythical creatures ever. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to read Fourth Wing. I'm thinking I might put it, uh, like bump it up onto my June TBR and read it then. Um, cause I just, I can't wait. I want to jump on the bandwagon. I want to be part of the hype and yeah. So I'm very, very excited for that. And I'm so happy that my mum got me this one because she heard me going on and on about it. So now she's like, well, now you can read it. So um, that's the two that they got. And then my best friend came over today because um, she's a nurse. So she has like during the weeks off sometimes. Um, so she came over today and she gave me this reading journal. This one's actually from Fairy Loot. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember which box. But she gave me this reading journal because... She knows that I use them now. I do have the Clockwork Reader reading journal, but this one I feel like is really pretty as well. So I don't mind having two of them because this is what it looks like on the inside here. So I like the fact that I can color those in. And I'm thinking what I might do is color like those things, the color of the book that I read. And I think that that would be like, uh, like the colors of like the cover and I think that could be really really pretty um so I might do that but I like how it's simple it just has title author genre notes which I really like and rating describe this book in five words and page count it's really simple oh and it has release date and dates read and then it's got like whether you read it as a book I'm guessing an ebook or an audiobook which I really like I think it is really simple so I do have to fill in this one from the ones that I filled in um from the Aquacric Reader Reading Journal so I'm going to use both of them um as well so yeah but this one I feel like I'm going to color in and that it could be really pretty so I really like it so I got that and then she also gave me this it is a book sleeve also from yes it's from fairy loot as well it doesn't say like which box it came in um sorry if you can hear my uncle but yes she gave me this book sleeve and it's from caraval and it says every person has the power to change their fate if they are brave enough to fight for what they desire more than anything and of course it's from caraval which is by stephanie garber i really love it i think it's absolutely gorgeous i really liked caraval and i really like stephanie garber so she gave me that one as well and for kind of the the headline of the show the umbrella academy graphic novel box set it's so heavy i'm having such a struggle holding it but i can't believe she got me this those of you who might be new to my channel i love the umbrella academy it is one of my favorite tv shows of all time um i have watched it i think i'm on my fifth 
rewatch at the moment but i love it i can't wait for season four to come out it should be so interesting to see what they do um it's gonna absolutely ruin me but anyway that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about the graphic novels so they come in a set of three like this so we have the apocalypse suite dallas and hotel oblivion i can't wait to read these i'm thinking i might do a reading vlog dedicated to reading these maybe like a 24-hour readathon like a reading vlog or just like a dedicated reading vlog to reading these graphic novels because I just I'm so excited and I can't wait and I feel like whilst it might be like a very kind of niche reading vlog I feel like it could be really exciting um so yeah I really love it I'm gonna keep it in the slip case I'm thinking because I don't want them getting ruined and the slip case is really really pretty so yeah um either that or I'll keep the slip case in general that's what the excuse i'm just going to cover the price tag um that's what the back looks like and that's the front so that's exciting and then along with that this poster came with it which i'm going to hang up in my room so that's one side there and then here's the other side so that's exciting i'm thinking i might do this side because it's quite cool um but yeah so it came with that poster which is really exciting really cool so yeah those are all kind of the uh book related presents i got i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah overall i had a really good day i am trying to sort out my book cart because it is a bit of a mess right now um i've kind of got stuff everywhere on it and i'm just getting more and more books and i'll need it for storage eventually because i'm running out on my shelves that's just the reality of it and I don't like the way it is of how messy it is. So I was trying to figure out what the solution of what to do because I don't have enough room in my wardrobe. That's already chock a block. I've got to go through that on the weekend as it is. I don't have enough room on my bookshelves or on my book cart to put everything. So I was trying to figure out what to do. And I figured out that what I could do is I could put like my book sleeves and some of the stuff that's kind of at the very bottom of my book cart in my chest of drawers I have. I wanted to put them at the top, but the top is a bit chocolate block and I can't get rid of anything in there. Everything that's in the top is needed. So I found a semi-empty drawer. It has got some things in it. I'm not going to show you guys because it's got memorabilia from like my old school and everything and logos. And whilst I'm happy to share majority of my life with you, there are some things that I would like to keep private. Um, so yeah, anyway, but there seems to be some space. So I thought I can put like my book sleeves, uh, cards I get from fairy loot and all that um in there at least until I find a spot to better put them or yeah at least I, until I find a spot to better put them for the time being because they're just a mess I don't like how it is right now so yeah I'm gonna start off with this one and we're gonna see how it goes
decided to rearrange my art prints because a lot of them had fallen off um, or were getting kind of old so I kind of just had to replace the blue tack on a lot of them and I decided to move them from the wall that they were over and I feel like it's sorry if you can hear my uncle he's deaf so he doesn't know how loud he's actually being when he talks um, anyway so yeah I decided to move them over onto a different wall and I really love the way it is um and I thought I would show you guys like the wall which I should have already done and I will tell you guys where each of them are from if I can remember I will absolutely try my best and I will leave try my best to leave all the businesses linked down below if it's possible for me to do so uh as you can tell these ones are from fairy loot so i can't actually link them oh that was my step <laughs> um because they come in the fairy loot boxes so unless you can grab them second hand from someone unfortunately i'm not able to link them this one's also from a fairy loot box as well i think this one might be the spice road one this one is will and tessa from the infernal devices it's what they deserve i can't remember the business name that it was but if i find it i know it was definitely on etsy if i find it i will link it um we've also got Aliyah and Elias. this is from the in and the ashes fake crate box so again i can't link that fairy loot this is also a print from an ember in the ashes again i can't link that one because it came in the fairy loot in ember in the ashes box so yeah <laughs> Um, this is a, a, an Umbrella Academy print. It came with the graphic novels that my friend got me um, for my birthday, so it came with that. And it is double-sided, but I wanted to go with this side, so I think it's really, really cool. And whilst, yes, it's not technically bookish like it is, but not, I love the Umbrella Academy, so it had to go up on my art print wall. Um, this one, again, is from the Fae Crate, so I can't link that. That one's Fairy Loot, Fairy Loot. Fairy loot, fairy loot, fairy loot. This one is from an artist that I got from a comic book convention over here. If I can find who did it, I will link it. But it is uh, obviously from How to Train Your Dragon. It is Toothless and the Light Fury. I love How to Train Your Dragon, so I have to go up there. And I will try to go up here. <laughs> Excuse the vacuum. Um, fairy loot. This one is a VE Schwab and I think that the business name recently changed so I'm gonna have to locate the new business name and try and link it for you guys. This one is the characters from Defy the Night, one of my favourite books of all time. Again, fairy loot. Now, ones that I can actually sort of link. Oh yeah, we've got down here. This one is obviously from the Song of Achilles. Um, if I can, again, if I can find the business name, I will. This one was again from that same uh, comic book convention as the Toothless print. This one, oh, <laughs> not that, not you, not yet. It's not your time yet. This one is um, Evangeline and Jax from Once Upon a Broken Heart, another one of my favourite um, series of all time. It's from Fabled something. I know which business it's from, so I will definitely link it. Now the icon, the moment itself. Of course, we have Kaz and Inej from Six of Crows. This one is specifically the Crooked Kingdom scene. If you know, you know. And this is from A Touch of Magic Designs. This is a Percy Jackson print that came with the box set that I got. So maybe if you can locate that box set, then you can get this. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, these are the characters from Six of Crows. So Wayland, Matthias, Jasper, Kaz, Inej, and Nina. I can't remember the business that they're from. Um, I don't know if they're still around, to be honest, because I got them years ago. Um, again, if I can find it, I will link it. This is the characters from The Night Circus, one of my favourites again. This is also from A Touch of Magic Designs. So we have Sarai from um, Stranger Dreamer, A Touch of Magic Designs. And we have the characters from Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco. Again, from A Touch of Magic Designs. So yes, those are all the art prints I have for the time being. I definitely plan on getting some more. Um, I might just have to move them over onto a different wall once I get some more. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if I can find the business names, I will link them down below the best for you. Hi hey everyone. Let's get started on my reread of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. 
Um, yeah, it's currently raining outside and very kind of really bad weather. Um, I've got friends going on in the background. I've just currently muted it because I don't want to get copyright strike. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought why not get a start on that one? Um, it's a perfect weather for it. And for my reread, I'm thinking I might do like a vlog on the side as well of me rereading the entire Model Instrument series. Um, so look out for that vlog. I think that could be really exciting. I'm not, I haven't decided whether there's going to be spoilers in it or not. I might do it spoiler filled because I feel like it's really hard to kind of explain a book, especially a reread without doing spoilers, but I'll see how I go. you on my reading um i've had a little bit of like a busy day today so i haven't actually read anything um but i'm gonna update you guys on progress on just everything because i haven't recently and i've been very very naughty about that so let me go grab the books so we have uh loath to love you by ellie hazelwood which is her Steminus novella collection um so it includes under one roof stuck with you and below zero so I'm up to page 310, which is the third story. So I'm actually almost finished with this one. Um, thank goodness I've enjoyed it. I wouldn't say I've like fallen in love with it. Um, I'd probably say overall about a three stars. It's not perfect, but I'm having a fun time and that's all that matters. Um, but again, I'm not 100% done with it yet, but I think I'm going to finish it pretty soon. <laughs> My aim was to sit down tomorrow and read pretty much all the day. Um, but I've got an unexpected appointment in the morning, um, so I don't know how long that's going to take me. So yeah, um, we'll see how much of this I can get read tonight and um, tomorrow. And then we have my reread of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So I haven't made a lot of progress in this one. Um, I'm up to page 44, but I'm not going to lie, guys. I forgot how funny Jace is. <laughs> like... He's kind of iconic and funny and I was like hearing his banter and hearing some of his one-liners I'm like yep there's Jace like it's just it's really funny to see and so far I'm enjoying it obviously I know what happens it's a reread but it's a fun time so far um and it pains me to do this and I don't want to but <laughs> it put me in such a slump I'm choosing to DNF Spice Road um, so I made it to page 210 and so I'm actually really close to the halfway point as you can see and it got to the point where I did not give a shit what was happening. I didn't give a shit about the plot, I didn't care about any of the characters, I didn't feel like anything was really high stakes. There was a few like kind of exciting things that happened but other than that like my heart wasn't racing, I wasn't on the edge of my seat, I was like okay like after they kind of happened and it was putting me into such a slump and with how many books I've got in my TBR, with my Goodreads goal this year, the fact that we're already in June, I cannot have books that are going to put me in a slump. So for my own kind of reading well-being, the bookmark is officially coming out and I'm officially DNFing Spice Road. It makes me sad because it's been compared to An Ember in the Ashes, which is one of my favourite series of all time. So when I heard that comparison, I was like, yes, like, let's do it. And I know that there might be people that say like, I hold it to too high of a standard because of that but like if that's what I want to do then that's what I want to do so I'm gonna DNF it yeah also I forgot to mention I got a haircut on Thursday of last week so this is the like ponytail now my hair was like almost it was like at the bottom of like my back before um and it was getting to the point where it's too heavy too much to wash so I got a cut and now it's this short so yeah and I also got uh curtain bangs um which I love it was a choice that I've been going back and forth on but when I was sitting in the chair at the salon I was like do you know what just do it I was like give me curtain bangs um and it's honestly the best decision I've ever made I feel like it really frames my face I'm really happy with it so yeah um 
I'm happy with that. Do I have any? Oh, I you'll see it in a vlog clip before this, but I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. I saw it on the weekend. Again, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I wouldn't recommend it for kids. It's really dark. Like, it's darker than a lot of other Marvel films. I was like looking at it and even I was freaked out by some parts and I'm 25 and there were some parts I was watching and I was like, what? is there like even i was creeped out so do not recommend it for children um and but it was funny it's definitely better than the second guardians film i was a little nervous going into this because guardians of the galaxy 2 was not it um but this one was a lot better people said like i heard online like the ending is so sad you're gonna cry i did not cry there was not a tear shed um at the end so yeah <laughs> that just makes me emotionless a lot also, I realised I forgot to update you guys. Um, I did see The Little Mermaid about two weeks ago. Um, and I loved it. It was fucking fantastic. Like, honestly, it was just the casting, the songs, everything about it. I loved it. I Phenomenal movie. Definitely go see it if you haven't because it is great. I adored it and once it comes on Disney Plus I'm definitely gonna rewatch it. Hi everyone, um so I've had a bit of a long day today so I haven't done any reading but I got my fairy loot box <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys. It has already been opened but I wanted to show you guys what came in anyway. So we've got uh Divine Riot so we've got um Feuding Gods and this is the character art. Now the book that came for the month is one that I was really, really hoping was going to come. And I'm very excited because it's one of my most anticipated releases of the year. And that's Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. This is absolutely so pretty. And look at those stenciled edges there. Like, it's stunning. And then we've got the back there. And we've got some pretty, pretty character art like we always do. <laughs> Another lot of character art, and I think it is signed as well. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> it's signed as well. So, yeah, um, that's that one. I'm so excited that that one came because um, as soon as I read that it was coming out this year, I was like, I need it. But I was holding off on buying it in case it came in the fairy loot box, which it did. So I'm very excited. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I can't update you guys because I haven't done any reading today. But, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was away for the weekend and kind of sorting things out in regards to that. But um, I wanted to update you guys. So I'm still starting my, like, kind of in the middle of my reread of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Um, I only brought my Kindle on my trip with me. And I started reading Zodiac Academy. I'm not that far into it. Um, but yeah, and I decided to DNF Spice Road because I wasn't enjoying it. I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that, but just in case I didn't. Um, I also finished another book. Well, technically almost finished another book. So I was reading um, Notable Shadowhunters and Denizens of Downworld. And I finished the part on the Dark Artifices. So I'm still going to count that as kind of technically like a book finish because... Even though I haven't finished the entire book, I finished a section. Um, so either way, this month, my reading is actually going really well. Um, so yes, I'm going to continue on my reread of City of Bones. And I'm also going to start Fourth Wing. I'm so excited to get started on that. I've heard nothing but great things. Um, so I'm going to get a start on that tonight. But I got a Fairy Loot box in the mail. It's not the monthly one. 
um but yeah i got a fairy loot box in the mail and i wanted to open it in front of you guys i think i know which one it might be so it's this one here i think it might be chain of thorns the fairy loot edition of it um because i did purchase that when it came on sale another one that i had to pretty much like fight for my life to try and get um okay yes it is so it's chain of thorns by cassandra claire it's the fairy loot edition so this is the fairy loot edition of chain of thorns by cassandra claire there's the front that's the back and the um sketched edges absolutely gorgeous so pretty um oh it's actually got a book plate in it i didn't realize that they were going to have book plates in them um so there is the design on the front there's the design on the back so i'm gonna have to put that book plate in that's so weird so it's got chain of thorns so it's actually got cassandra claire's like signature there like there but then they've given us a book plate as well so i'm a bit confused is it like are we supposed to put in the book plate as well or is that just so we have cassandra claire's signature to be able to put in another book because her signature's already in here like it's stamped in so now i'm confused anyway of course i'm going to keep this i'll just keep that in there at least for now but yes so that is the fairly edition of chain of thorns of course i'm going to put it um on my cassandra class shelves um so on my trip i didn't get many books i only got one book it's icebreaker by hannah grace so i've heard really good things about it and i wanted to get it so i got it from i think it's called reddings which we don't have where i live um but i was in melbourne and they have one there so i thought that i would grab it while i was in melbourne um but yeah that's really all the updates guys i'm gonna get a start on um fourth wing because i'm very excited and continue on my reread of city of bones i have finished editing a video today which i'm very excited about um and i'm hoping fingers crossed for it to be up tomorrow um but yeah that's all the updates i have for you guys i hope that you've enjoyed this um that's really about it <laughs>
it is currently Thursday and I realized that in particular this week I have been really bad at updating you guys on what I am reading. This is actually the first day of this weekly reading vlog so I hope everyone's doing well. This is the first lot of updates for this reading vlog but yes, <laughs> do you mind? I um, Obviously I wanted to give you guys an update on my reading and just a few other things i tried to get the fourth wing fairy loot edition last night i was literally 10 minutes in the queue like left in the queue and they sold out i was so annoyed but i think fairy loot might be doing a reprint of them so thank god for that i've just got to hold up for the reprint um i'm probably working tomorrow i was only supposed to be doing about three hours but um i think something's happened and they want me to do a, a bit longer <laughs> Um, a little bit longer, so, oh, what did I just sit on? Sit on my dog's toy. <laughs> oh my goodness, if anyone else has a dog and know that there's, like, toys. Oh. And they'll know that, like, they probably have toys scattered everywhere as well. So, I just accidentally sat on this. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so, uh, I probably have to work a little bit longer tomorrow, which will cut, obviously, into a lot of my reading time. And I have to work Saturday as well. Um, and then Sunday, I'm going to kind of like a comic-con type convention that we have over here but we call it supernova um so me and my best friend are going on sunday because we go every single year um of course the past couple of years have been up a bit up in the air with covid but um yeah we are going this year but now it's time for the reading updates so i'm doing my reread of city of bones by cassandra clare and i'm up to page 94 which is chapter six and I'm really enjoying it, guys. I honestly forgot how funny Jace is. Um, he is, yeah, he is really funny. And I think that I've forgotten that. Um, now it's kind of making me want to watch a TV show. I know that the TV show is not great, but I kind of now want to watch it. Um, but yeah, either way, I'm enjoying it so far. It's definitely not like a literary masterpiece, but I'm having a great time. And I am also reading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Now, I am only 42 pages into this, but so far, I think I'm going to become a Fourth Wing girly. I have loved those 42 pages that I've read. I'm definitely planning on reading more of this tonight. I think that I'm going to set aside my um, reread of City of Bones for now because I can feel myself loving this so much. I want to prioritize this. It's not that I'm not enjoying City of Bones. I am. It's just because, like I said, I'm enjoying this so much that I want to prioritize all my time and effort into reading Fourth Wing. Um, it has disability representation. I can't remember the disability that the main character has. Um, so I will see if I can find um, what it's called and definitely let you guys know. Because I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly and that I'm getting and that, yeah, obviously I'm pronouncing it correctly and describing the correct like the disability correctly to you guys um but i do know that she has a disability um but yeah so that's quite uh interesting to see it's been very very high stakes so far which i'm enjoying it's brutal don't get me wrong it's definitely not on the young adult side of things it's brutal i i like the main character she's really cool um but yeah either way i'm thoroughly enjoying this and i think that this is um i think that this is going to be my priority for the rest of the night so those are my reading updates that's a little bit of my life update sorry i've been really bad at updating you guys um i have a feeling that a vlog that's coming up is going to be like a month long but i will <laughs> um these things happen but either way i hope you enjoy whatever you're reading hopefully i'll be able to update you guys i'm guessing Sorry, everyone i am back from supernova which is kind of like a um comic-con style event that we have uh where i live and I didn't grab an awful lot, but I wanted to show you guys um, what I did grab from there. Whilst it's not an awful lot, I'm really happy with a lot of the things that I managed to grab while I was there. Um, I am super tired because it's very exhausting, especially for me as someone who has anxiety and is extremely claustrophobic. Being in an event like that is very, very tiring. But I went with my best friend. I had a really great time anyway, so that's all that matters. Um, so I got this... Uh, pamphlet for a launch event for the anatomy of songs um megan white in conversation with Bian with bianca breen saturday july 1st 2023 at 12 p.m till 2 p.m in um, murray street in perth so we got that um and then inside this little baggie here
is a it's a dragon necklace um so yeah it's a dragon necklace and it's got like a kind of pinkish purpley gem on it oh, and it's got like a like pinky purplish gem oh come on focus on it and I just thought that it was like the cutest thing ever and it's definitely me so I'm definitely planning on um wearing that when I get the chance um I also got this uh five Hargreaves print because I'm sure as everyone knows I'm a big fan of the Umbrella Academy so I got this five Hargreaves uh print this one's uh from season two after a certain scene that he does if you've seen season two then I'm sure you know which one it is, but yes, I got this uh, Five Hargreaves um, Umbrella Academy print because they don't really sell a lot of T-Way merch here, and when they do, it's generally only five. You can't really get anyone else, so I had to get five. <laughs> um, and then I got this bookmark from an author that's independently published. I, unfortunately, I wanted to get their books, but I was running low on money, and I didn't, and yeah, I was just running low on money and just couldn't get it. Um, so... And this is a bookmark and the author is Natey is yeah Natey Kate Mason um they said that their book is on Kindle so I will probably check them out um and I got this one from Flourishing Fables so I have purchased from Flourishing Fables before I actually purchased from them last year I that's where I got my Jackson Evangeline print from but this time I got Feyre and Reese from A Court of Mist and Fury. So that is what that one looks like. It's so pretty. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need it. And then I got this one from Key something. Key. I can't remember the whole name, but I know it starts like the title starts with Key, but I can't remember the whole business name. And it's just this gorgeous dragon print. So that's what that looks like. It's not any particular dragon it's just a really pretty dragon print that i found i love dragons they're my favorite mythological creature um and this is also the same business that i got my how to train your dragon print from um but this one is obviously not how to train your dragon related but i just thought that it was really really pretty and it was only ten dollars as well so i grabbed that while i had the opportunity now on to kind of like the books <laughs> um so this one doesn't actually come out until next saturday but they were um doing like early releases for people who were at supernova so this is the cover for the anatomy of songs by megan white it's so gorgeous so i will read the synopsis to you guys it says bestow the songs of both life and death Cass cassira severin <laughs> spends her days as daughter of silver cursing the low town of their ailments. When the sun sets, however, she becomes the city's most notorious assassin. Now, under her father's command, she's hunting her biggest target yet. V Veridan Eris is the crown prince of L Livida. I can never pronounce these fantasy words. Um, and he fears his whiskey-filled life is about to end, with the bodies of soldiers piling up on the northern border borders and nobles turning up dead on the docks he has no choice but to try and broker a place with the exiled queen as long as he survives the attempts on his life before they arrive with a dark twist with dark twisting conspiracies treacherous ancestors and a hair raising night watcher stalking the streets the two faded enemies have far more be wary than each other and this book is actually signed and personalized to me because they were doing while you were at like supernova they were signing and personalizing them um so i got so they gave me a map for the book so this is sun's fall um so that's the map as well that came with it which is really really cool um and then oh that's just a brochure for something and then yeah just another brochure for the launch event that they're doing so this one does have a teeny bit of damage there but that's not that big of a deal like i'm i'm not bothered <laughs> um so it is signed and personalized to me here so it says to ashley there are bones bon bones yeah there are bones to set 
um and then megan white so yeah that's really i think that means bonds no there are bones to set yeah so to ashley there are bones to set um megan white so that's really cool that i have that sign and personalized um like i said this one doesn't come out officially it doesn't officially drop until next saturday and the uh publishing company is new dawn publishing so yes uh definitely be on the lookout for that one and i'm really really excited to read it and i'm hoping it's really good but yeah these ones is is a damaged copy but other than that it's literally in perfect condition um and the other one is already out and has been for a little bit it is the assassin's thief by Madeline T. Weehu, I think is how it's pronounced. We, I'm not 100% sure how it's pronounced, but that is the cover there. Um, so I will again read the synopsis to you guys. So it says, betrayed by her queens, haunted by haunted by her gifts, forgotten by her people. Tellian was once the most feared assassin in all of Alcoria. She now lives out her days in exiles as she fights for dominance over her dark gifts. But all that changes when an errant fey warrior enters her domain, drawn by rumors of a powerful being said to be born from the shadow of, oh yeah, said to be born from the shadow of the dark goddess Tenebris. <laughs> um, with their kingdom on the brink of chaos, he calls for her aid in his mission to defeat the mad fey king and prevent and prevent an all-out war. But the road to the fey capital of meat is a long one to be haunted by memories of her past Tillian must decide if she can risk losing dominance over the darkness in her soul in the scripting story debut author madeline t Wu creates an unforgettable world rife with grave secrets and suspenseful romance and again this is from new dawn publishing so this one is um again signed and personalized to me um it says veal through ashley driver driver blade through his heart um with a love heart madeline t Wu with xoxo so that is what that one looks like there so that's super cool that um i've got that signed and personalized as well again it came and then it came with a bookmark that says if she has to become a monster to defeat him so be it i will definitely be using this to read it with <laughs> and it came with a um map as well so yeah that is my small supernova haul um it was fun just to walk around get out of the house for a little bit and just be able to be around a bunch of other kind of fandom loving people um yeah it, like i said it's small but i'm happy with everything i got and those books are really cool and i'm really excited to delve into them so i hope you guys enjoyed this tiny little haul